Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Spiritual Justice Show. I'm Goddess Quito. If you call me Quito, either one would do. I answer to both. Let's get into this reading. See you. You guys know I offer services and products. Just hit me up in, at my email, goddessquita at gmail.com. Or you can um, leave your uh, information in the comment section. And we can, um, I'm still going to give you my email address. That's just what it is. That's my point of contact. Or you can DM me on Instagram. This is the only social media that I have besides YouTube is on Instagram. Diamond Butterfly 8488. That is where you can DM me. If you cannot get on my page, you still can DM me. Um, either way it go. Um, that's the way you can contact me for my services. I offer candles, cleansings, baths, all kind of stuff. Anything that you need, I can do. I am a shaman, as I stated before. I do not just read tarot. I channel. I'm psychic. I'm a prophet. Like, I have many gifts of star seeds. Tend to have... The more we heal, the more we unlock that gifts. Everybody has these gifts, but not everybody knows how to unlock them. Um, I can I tell people all the time it's free information. The way that you unlock your gifts, your talents, um, to the next level. Each time you heal something, you're gifted. So whenever you heal something, then you're gifted with uh, more. That that allows you to flow freely through your energy. Uh, even if you're going through tough things, in in it'll look effortlessly to everyone else. How did she do that? How did she do? He do that? It's because they heal a part of themselves that no longer work, uh, that you can attack in that weight. And if you do try to attack it, it's just like, eh. <laughs> Let me brush my shoulders off. It's just like that lightweight energy because you've healed that, and that person that was that's projecting onto you is lightweight at this point. It doesn't affect you as as much as, much as it used to because you've healed it. It's not a sore spot anymore. It's healed, and even if they touch it, it's just like uh, you tried, girl, bye, boy, bye. <laughs> you feel me? And people really think I be stuck when I say that I don't. It's just like I heal. Like stop playing, stop playing with me in that area. Like don't do that. No, just don't do that. Okay, you guys. Let's just get into this reading. This reading is about balance, justice, the mat energy. Um. Somebody want to leave a legacy? I adore you. Um, and the bond, you, you mean the world to me, I adore the bond we share. And they just want to be all up in your energy. Like they got this, this, this loving, clingy energy. This is this person love language. And they are saying, you are my cure, you're my peace. Like anything that happened to me, you 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 heal it. You're my peace. You, you, you know what to do to me. You know who. You know how to do that, what you do. You do it well. That's what I'm picking up here. Um, yeah, this is about balance, about favor, about bringing balance into your life. Favor is a, a big transformation that's happening in your life. And this just look like a love read that I'm picking up. Um, it is a big information, uh, big, um, transformation that's going on especially with this strawberry moon we just had yes it's a lot of uh how can i put it <laughs> it's a lot of goodness that's coming out in this moon and i love it i love it it's a lot of balance and justice uh that we have and even this transformation card have a little bit of that purplish pink energy and this uh five of swords uh card does too um, but with this five of swords card, I don't feel like you're stuck in your head. It's about making plans in this particular deck. It's about making plans and being wise. And you're doing that. You, you gather everything that you need. You're moving forward. You're on this journey. Um, your love life look like it's doing well. Yo, if your finances aren't doing well, baby, it's going to do well. And your plans, God say your plans, whatever you manifest with this full moon. Pretty much, you, yeah, you're going to get good news. The Sixes of Wands just came out. Um, um, people are trying to figure out why are you um, able to have this victory even though they're doing negative energetic work. I tell people all the time, if you mess with a thinker, somebody that actually put into practice what uh, the knowledge and tools and information that is given to them and actually use the intuition, the, the energy that you project onto someone, they can utilize it any way. You just gave them free energy. 
<laughs> that's why I'm very particular about where I put my energy because you just gave somebody free energy and just because it's not just because you projected it over there doesn't mean that person don't have a thing a way to a, a, a way that is set up for, for to make it work for them just because you're wishing them ill that's why <laughs> because the most high already gave them the recipe they the most high already gave you the recipe of how to how to deal with these energy, energy vultures these narcissists this jealousy this jezebel spirit this leviathan spirit he already gave you the recipe <laughs> She already gave you the recipe. And they stand on that ish, man. <laughs> already gave you the recipe because the most high already knew you was going to have to deal with that. And it's bringing major transformation in your life. It's bringing major balance into your life. Especially in your love life. It's somebody for to have a beautiful love life. Like the other day, I just thought, like, I just said I, I, um, that I didn't want a relationship. And I really... I didn't want a romantic relationship, but I'm thinking like, man, maybe I do want one. You know what I mean? After this full moon came in, it's just like, girl, <laughs> what's wrong with a little bit of help? You know? And I don't mean help by using somebody. I mean like, babe, like that 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 collaboration help. You know what I'm saying? To collab and vibe on the same wavelength. Come on, ain't nothing wrong with that, and I see you doing that. I'm not in that energy just yet, but I, I, I like this energy. I, I like what you got going on here. You're confident. You got good news coming in. Things are balancing out in your favor, even though I I, I sense it is not out here on the board that there are a lot of um, you having this passion in the beginning. Y'all may be <laughs> doing some things in the bedroom. <laughs> it's popping like that over here in this reading. <laughs> It's popping like that in your life, but I do feel like you have envious people and like you just put into practice what God told you to do and the most house told you to do what she told you to do and you, you're putting that into practice. You're doing what you need to do to make yourself happy. Your partner is reciprocating your energy. That's what we love. If I want to be in a relationship, that's the type of relationship I want to be in. Somebody that's very reciprocal of my energy and if they're not all the way on my level, at least they're trying and they're trying to get there people always think you already got to be there it's the effort that counts too it's not you're not just working with potential you're actually working with somebody that's trying that wants to love you properly that wants to get to know you wants to be in your energy field and what's somebody doing that ain't, ain't no room for nobody else to come in though i like this energy mm. <laughs> i really like this you are yes I, I knew this negative energy was coming out. I knew that this is going to happen. Um, so, uh, the tower card just came out. Yeah. Somebody is in conflict. It's not even you that's having this tower moment. It's your enemies. Oh my God. It's your enemies just having this tower moment. They're, they're upset because they ish isn't working. They thought they'd be satisfied with your personal development. And they're not satisfied with your personal development. Uh, because they can't come in and give you burdens. And, and, and harass you with their, their projections. They can't come in and, and, and really... Uh, Stop! Stop! One monkey don't stop no show, and two for show is gonna rock. So you you got two. It's two of y'all. <gasps> oh, excuse me. And this person is so into you. So you're definitely gonna rock this boat. You're gonna <laughs> you gonna your ships are com coming in. Yeah. And it's like these people want to walk away from this battle, but it's like they're under some kind of spell that they can't walk away. Because I see, like, they, they want to, but it's like, eh, should I let this, just let it go? And eh, should, I, should I keep attacking her because it's not working? Or should I keep attacking him because it's not working? And what I say, once you learn how to send your own energy and don't let or nobody else's energy uh, affect yours, uh, or if you just not even I don't even say that to that so before that point once you learn to give over to God and, and ask the most high and not come from your own understanding but come from an understanding of the other individual you will perceive and you will learn that that's mostly that person's energy and then you have no problem returning back to sender because you are responsible for your own energy and they're responsible for their own energy and if somebody's giving you free energy why not make something beautiful out of it I do it all the time and they will do I'm like what is not what Working, cause boy, you just gave me free energy. Whether it's negative or positive, you gave me free energy. You gave me your time. 
and your effort, your thoughts, your thoughts are very expensive, boo. Pay close attention what you thought about me, because I, I can make it into something very beautiful for me. <laughs> you gave it to me. You're giving your energy to me, and that's more valuable than money. You know why? Because somebody is freely giving your energy, whether it's negative or positive, they're freely giving it to you, and you can do whatever you will with it, but you have to... There's certain things, mm, I might write a little book for y'all because <laughs> I can break that thing on down and show you how to really <laughs> work with that energy, that, that negative energy that people send you. Yes. Yup. And they, they're trying to balance out waiting. Like, oh, I'm going to see if it's going to work. I'm going to see if it's going to work. And, 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 and that, that's why they, they hesitant about leaving because if it worked, then I'm going to keep doing it. If it don't work, then damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, and and they, 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 they took a lot of time and effort into doing this. Who does that? Who sits back and does energy on people, on someone, because they don't want them to be successful? It has to be somebody, Jezebel spirit, the Leviathan spirit, low vibration, these disorder, people that's in this envious energy, the those seven sins, those seven deadly, seven deadly sins. The, the, and then it, it could be where somebody just don't want you to move on because they don't want you to do better than them and that's the energy that I'm picking up here it's, it could be a, 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 someone that you was close to they don't want you to be in uh, to do better than them it's okay that you do good but don't do well <laughs> you know what I'm saying don't do better than me don't be, be above average just, just, just be on my level and that's what this person is, is giving and you're just like uh, boy, bye. Uh, girl, bye. Stop it. <laughs> Let me be great. Yeah. They're very optimistic about doing this. And this could be a group of people. That's what I'm picking up. Uh, I, I, I hate... You, you do know that when these people... Especially narcissistic, social path type people, they have to get a lot of people. And, and social... People that have social apathy and stuff like this. Uh, so, um... So social apathy and things like that. Yeah, I said it right. The antisocial personality disorder. These are more narcissists is one thing. I could deal with a typically. I, I can deal with a narcissist, but someone who's a sociopath is way worse because they have to get these people riled up against you. Narcissists, they get it and it's a moment thing. But people who are narcissists with a sociopath, a personality disorder is like on a whole nother level. And this is what I get. These not only are these people, the people that this person that's narcissistic person. That has a social, uh, social apathy mixed with narcissism. Not only this person is the ringleader of all this that's going on, and not only are they uh, involved in involving these other disorders, these other people that have these narcissistic disorder, basically this Leviathan spirit. Now they're making this per these people descend because they keep doing negative energetic work against someone that's doing nothing to them. They keep cause just because they don't want to see somebody else happy. And and they don't understand the more you indulge in this negative energetic work, the more you descend and the more you become into a reprobated mind. And this is very vital to what you give your time and energy to. No matter how much you wish and send an evil eye to a person, once a person has gone through something for so long, they get used to it and they find ways and solutions on how to deal with it. That's why you don't want to put too much time and energy into something that is so low, low vibrational because that person can is going to, if they're not uh, being affected by your, by your energy anymore, they're going to come out on top because you're giving them all of you. You give them all your time, your energy, Energy and it's just a waste for you because that's free energy that you're giving to this person to work with. Now, now they don't even have to put none of their energy. All they have to do is put energy into directing your energy and where they want it to go. Let me start giving y'all the recipe. <laughs> let, me, let me start giving. Oh, just you need evil eye. I don't have to have the evil eye thing. It's, it's great. It's a great tool because I can tell uh, when I look at this evil eye if it's on me or not. I can tell. Even yesterday when they tried to do it to me uh, in a slick way, all you have to do is look at the evil eye. And if it's moving or anything like that, then it's typically on you. Someone placed the evil eye on you. And it was done so discreetly yesterday, I could barely tell. But, like, I 
almost like I'm not not normal self. Something is wrong. And then when I tapped in, I follow because I follow the information where it goes. I'm very analytical. And once I followed the information, I was like, dang, they did this so sneaky. And so you're giving the person all your tactics when you're doing this and free energy. And I, once I learned that I had that energy on me, it was easy for me to direct it to where I wanted to go. So you got to be careful who you're dealing with. Everybody is not at a beginning or an intermediate level. Some of us are really about their life. I really live like this, but I really do. Like, I really live like this. Like, all jokes aside, I flow through all my energies, my professional energy, my my, my um, family energy. I flow through my energies effortlessly because I heal wholly. I'm a holy individual. I'm holy. So, at the end of the day, when you guys send these things to me, these Levi, these people, well, I'm talking about the people that that's low vibrational, and you send this to my soul tribe, and they're connected to me because I already have the knowledge, and these people are already on my wavelength. The information is going to go to them, and they're going to be able to deflect your energy they're going to be able to direct their, your energy wherever they want to because you're giving someone freely your energy when you sit down and do negative energetic work you're giving somebody your energy you really are you're giving that person free energy you don't just walk around here and get free money away do you y'all got to be careful like even I'm trying to school these people with this Leviathan like we come here to heal to be great why are you descending why are you getting especially one of my exes when I was in um, Florida when I used to live in Florida the most high showed me I'm sorry I'm cutting into your reading and giving um, this but it's, I feel like it's very necessary um, the most high showed me this uh, per, like my one of my children's father he had he has this narcissist Leviathan spirit on him and this Jezebel spirit and not only did I learn that he had that he had social apathy because when he disliked that something I did he went to another female to get her and the community riled up and he did just that and it was such uh, a B move to me I don't even know how to put that it was so disgusting let me put it this way let me put it in a more lighter turn it was so disgusting to me like I, I'm a female and I don't even move like that you get what I'm saying if I don't dislike something that somebody do I don't gotta go tell the world I just move on and cut you off this person went to someone in my community sent them an email t telling uh, this person or DM telling this person or Facebook whatever messenger this and this uh, to butter her up gas her up and not knowing that this female uh, wanted, she and her boyfriend wanted to have uh, 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 a threesome with me, not knowing that she liked me. And she called me, twin, what, what's this? Who this? I didn't even know you deal with people like this. <laughs> and not, not knowing that this female was going to come back. And then it turned back on him. And, and, and instead of him apologizing, oh, I just want you to feel like I feel. Really? Because I told you the truth about my spirituality, this this is what he did this for. It wasn't nothing, nothing about nothing. I told him the truth about my spirituality, and then once I had leveled up spiritually, I told him I didn't want anything to do with him. So he went and got the community riled up. This is what these people with this Leviathan slash sociopathic uh, disorder do, and you can't have. Um, a, a, a personality disorder that's a narcissist overlap with sociopaths because instead of you just being a normal uh, 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 narcissist you got so, social apathy mixed in it because you like to get communities of people wild up yes narcissists do this but the way that I understand it because the particular way that my ex did this to me was it, I'm like he's a sociopath and I'm like no he's a narcissist I didn't know you can uh, group two together and they do overlap and he's a sociopath and, um, he's a narcissist mixed with a sociopath so he has social his sociopathy is off the roof I feel like he has more sociopathy than the narcissism come in with the sociopathy because the way he can gather this group of, of people up against me and they was like but you stay in the house they, they even had trouble figuring out why he had a problem with me but he he continued to convince them he stayed on it and business people who has social apathy like why is you worried about how my house look and, and my kids are, like if you're not helping me why, why is you worried about my bills and my bills are paid these are, these are people with social apathy these are people who you're not concerned about my kids like cause he'll tell me when he comes over I don't like him I don't love him I just want to come see you and he does not spend time with his child he can care less about the child and 
and this is what I had to deal with. The, and, and I didn't at the time on the 10 year span of dealing with this person, I had no clue that they was this way. But over the case of the 10 years, they grew into this personality disorder that was already there, but they grew more comfortable and the more comfortable he got with me, the more comfortable he got with like being negative towards me and displaying his true colors. So you guys, I, I, when I say I had experience, I may not have, um, I do have an uh, associate's degree, uh, but I do not have a psychology degree, I do not have a doctorate, but when I say I had experienced people with these disorders, there is, I'm not joking, I'm not lying to you. The more I live and understand and, and research and stuff, because I do not have a degree, but I do study this, these these different personality disorders, it's a must for me. Be, um, I understand the different dynamics of the different individuals that I was dealing with that's why I'm so protective of my energy I'm so protective of my genitalia area I'm so protective who in my bedroom who's in my mind who I'm thinking about because where you get your energy is can be very it's too expensive for you that's why I say um, on my twin flame journey my twin flame he is too expensive for me anytime I connect to him is drama that's too expensive for, for me because I like peace and when it's too expensive what you do you downsize so I downsize to me and, and not to downsize in a negative way meaning I cut his energy off so that I can fully thrush in, in where the, the area that I'm in and that's why I'm able to sit here and have um, a YouTube channel and consistently uh, consistently uh, post and consistently give to you guys because I don't have those type of energies around me and people are like why you didn't been doing this I've been trying to I've been telling partners about my dreams and my aspirations but everybody I told to never encouraged me not that I need their encouragement never I was looking at ways to do like to do this and do that and I wanted to partner up and collab with people they did not want to collab with me they did not want to partner up with me they thought it was a waste of time and this and that and once I got on my own and started doing everybody and they mama want to come see what I'm doing and have a, a say so about my different um, what I'm doing and believing in myself and putting time and energy into me now you want to have all the say so when you could have been a part of this journey too you the one chose with your actions not to be a part of this journey you the one chose with your mindset with you not healing with you not taking the advice not from me but from the from the God within me that connected to the most high was given you at the time that was very nourishing you would rather come and dump your problems on me and wait for me to deal with them now I'm not there to deal with them you have to deal with your own ish in your own way in your own time and you can't you, you're not on my time no more you're not in my energy no more um not, I'm not letting you in my energy so at the end of the day what you got to do now now you're going to sit back and be miserable because you had a chance instead of it's, you could still use this this opportunity like let me watch her channel or let me see what she's talking about because I ain't listening back then but I'm gonna listen now because look what she's doing like my life is a walking testimony I am a living proof of you can be what you want to be no matter what lifestyle you've been given no matter what uh, what uh, situations you've been put in somebody that really wants to do something with themselves can really do something because I did this out the mud people everybody that I was connected to besides my kids my kids was the only ones like mom you can do this you believe in this while well, you talk a lot you can break it down and you make us understand my kids was the only one that supported me and because I used to I, I sit down and have uh, in-depth conversations with my kids and they were the motivation they were the people People that really poured and so it's me and my kids like I, nobody else poured into me like my kids and I'm not saying like oh they were they were like this guy no we just sit down and have a conversation I have a, a very developed relationship good developed relationship with each one of my kids and they were like mom you talk that and they was the one that giving me why you want to start your own YouTube channel like why you want to start teaching people the things you know you always teach us good stuff it sounds crazy at first but when we actually do it it actually works right like, like why won't you do this and do that I'm like yeah you're right and I, I said I've been trying to do that with these other fools he was like I don't know what they thinking this, this is my son now my son my oldest son he's like I don't know what they got going on but mom you 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 could be really great like you are great you just need to put it out there and I got my kids telling me this and, and I, I'm trying with these other people and my, I'm like you know what that's when I had to really like <laughs> it is what it is cut all these people off and really get into what I really want to be here to do what I'm really my divine calling 
and that's to get on this platform to say the things that I need to say to you guys to give you the tools and guidance that you need that I had had on my journey that helped me and my kids uh, uh, my, my son's like mom a lot of times we don't listen to you at right off the but when it come push come to shove and the situation is get tight and you you just like are we utilize your information it works so well like my son said you can touch many people's lives and i'm like you're right son that's what the god has been telling me that's what prophet manasseh uh prophet peter popoff i went through to these different what they were called to me and these people had spoken to my life i was with prophet manasseh for years for years for years i was with prophet manasseh um he was the one that came into my life when a difficult situation was happening to me and and really put my mind on what god has for me so at the end of the day it has never been a romantic partner that helped me do anything so why would I pour into anyone from my past I would never it don't make sense I don't care how much you change you had most of the time I was with a guy off and on for 10 years and then I was with my other ex off and on for five years never once did anybody say anything about my potential they never once wanted to ask this and that this and that yeah we have conversations and this and that but it was really nothing spiritual and when i did try to talk to these individuals about spirituality and different stuff it scared the lights out of them it scared the it scared the the for jesus out of them because it wasn't jesus that was in there it was the for jesus <laughs> that's how my son said for jesus so it really scared the, the heck out of them and they <clears throat> and they ran so I learned that what was in me had nothing to do with the people that were surrounding me but my kids and once I come up on that realization it was nothing left from, it was nothing left to be said everybody got cut off everybody that didn't believe in me got cut off because when you put you're pumping you around energy that don't believe in you that's smothering you they always wanted me for themselves and every time I give them good advice or help them out they flourish and I'm sitting here just like drained when I need help or when I needed somebody nobody wanted to be there for me I had to be there for myself and now that I have my channel you want to oh get behind the scenes and do all this and do for what who are you? You at this point to me, I'm not saying in life in general, I'm saying to me, you're a nobody. Huh? I forgive you, but you're a nobody because every chance, every opportunity you had to be somebody in my life, you chose to be nobody. You chose to not give anything. So I had to cut the dead weight off. Even with my twin friend with you, I had to cut that off. And I'm still I just got out of that cycle. Because I, I don't want it no more. I ask God not to give me information about anyone that's attached attached to him or that unless it come in my spirit and mess with me. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back and forth with him telepathically or anyway or music anyway. And I'm not. Cause you, you understand where you put your time and energy is what flourish. So I, I don't want that to flourish. I don't want that relationship, so I'm not gonna speak up or down on it. I'm gonna give you the truth and leave it alone and put and, and, and keep it pushing. So that being said, you guys, when you, this is why it's so vital about the energy you're around and who you let in your circle, who you let in your bedroom, and then at, and when people love her up and see how to deal with these energies, you want to be mad? Oh, it's not working. Oh, we need to go to another uh, practitioner. No, you need to stop. You need to stop and heal yourself. All the advice that you get on here, you dispute it. You you spew it out. It goes to one ear and not the other one, and you still continue on your ways. How reprobated can you get? How? And I don't see how y'all don't see this. Like, how, like this Leviathan spirit really has, this snake is really wrapped around your head. It is really wrapped around your brain. You know what? This start this video about 30 minutes. I'm about to be peace out. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chill.